I'm so glad you were able to use the Massachusetts Defense for Eviction interview to prepare your answer and discovery requests. The next steps are to file your answer and discovery request with the court and to give copies to your landlord. I heard I can file my answer online. Is that true? Yes, you can file your answer, discovery requests, and any motions you need to file with the court online. You use the Massachusetts Court e-filing website, efilema.com. You can use your computer or your phone. If you have an iPhone, you will need to use the Chrome web browser, not Safari. If you have an Android device, you'll need to select the Request Desktop Site from your drop-down menu. Before we get started, you should have received an email from Maid when you finished your interview. Do you see it in your email? Yes, I have it here. It has PDF files attached to it. Yes, you'll need to save those PDFs to your phone or your computer. Okay, I saved both files to my phone. Great, now we can get started. Go to the website efilema.com. Now you're gonna tap the red button that says get started. Okay. Because this is your first time filing online, you'll need to register your account. Tap the green button that says register. All right. Fill in your name and your email address. If I give the court my email address, will they communicate with me only by email? I don't use my email very often and I don't want to miss something. When you e-file, you will receive two emails from the court. The first email confirms that they received the filing. The second email confirms that they accepted it. The court will only contact you by email about other things if you ask them to. If you don't request email communication, the court will continue to contact you by mail. What about my landlord? Will they be able to see my email address? No, the court doesn't give your landlord your email address and the public can't see your email address either, even if they look at court records. You also need to create a password and a security question to make sure other people can't get into your account. Your password needs to be at least six characters and must include at least one number or symbol. After you put in your password and the answer to your security question, tap the next button. It's in the bottom right corner of the page. Okay. Okay, great. Now you're gonna tap the circle in the box that says register for a self-represented account. Now it's asking for my address. Is that my home address or my mailing address? Put the address you use to get mail. You also need to give them your phone number. Does this mean the court will call me or send me mail to the address I put here? No, the court will not call you. They will continue to send mail to the address on the summons unless you specifically tell them to use another address. So if the address on the summons is wrong, you should call the court and let them know. Once you fill in your mailing address and phone number, tap next. Okay, so this page explains the terms of use for the online filing system. Take as much time as you need to read the terms. When you finished reading, tap, I agree, create my account. Do I have to agree to the terms of use? You do if you want to use the online filing system. If you do not feel comfortable with the terms and you have access to a printer, you can always print your answer and mail it to the court. Okay. Great, you've created your account. Now check your email and find the confirmation email you were sent. It will be from the email address efilingmail at tylerhost.net. I have it. Terrific. Now open the email and click the link that says click to activate account. This takes you back to the online filing system. All right. Wonderful. This message means your account is set up. Tap the link that says sign in now.